हम इतना कह सकते हैं कि अगर इस देश में आज के दिन ऐसा चुनाव हो जिसमें कोई गड़बड़ी नहीं हो जिसमें ईवीएम में कोई गड़बड़ी नहीं है तो मैं दावे के साथ कह सकती हूँ ये एक से ज्यादा सीट नहीं ले सकते उससे भी कम लेंगे नाच न जाने आंगन टेढ़ा और इसलिए कभी ईवीएम का बहाना निकालेंगे कभी मूलतः पराजय के लिए वो कुछ रीजनिंग अभी से सेट करने में लगे ताकि पराजय उनके खाते में न चढ़ जाए Opposition parties in India have often expressed doubts over the functioning of EVMs, questioning its efficacy. The Congress, in particular, has been extremely vocal in their criticism of the EVMs. So, in this whole country, the fire is burning. Time and again, the Congress party have raised questions. on the reliability of the electronic voting machines and the autonomy of the election commission of india now they claim that they have no faith left in the evms a 28 party india block had submitted a memorandum to the poll panel last year raising questions over the use of evms and vv pats in fact in december the india block had passed a resolution raising concerns around the integrity of evms asking the election commission of india to allow all voters to verify their vv pat slips opposition parties the congress in particular have now resolved to fight against what they call the misuse of electronic voting machines and money power by the bjp led government at the center claiming it poses the gravest challenge to the democracy in india so what are vv pat slips vv pat slips are an integral part of the evms used in elections It provides a physical paper trail for voters to verify that their vote has been recorded correctly by the EVM. It ensures transparency and accountability in the electoral process by allowing voters to verify their vote before casting it finally. The VVPAT produces a paper slip that permits the voter to confirm the accuracy of their vote on the EVM. Now this paper slip displays the name and symbol of the party chosen by the voter. Additionally the machine features a transparent window through which the voter can observe their printed slip subsequently this slip is securely deposited into a sealed compartment within the machine however in the event of a dispute this sealed box can be opened for further examination so what are evms and how do they work electronic voting machines or evms are used to record and tally votes during the elections They consist of two units, a control unit and a balloting unit. Now the ballot unit displays the names and symbols of the candidates. When a voter enters the voting compartment, they press the button corresponding to their chosen candidate. This registers their vote electronically within the machine's memory. After polling, EVMs are then sealed and transported to the counting center, and on the counting day, the votes recorded in each EVM's memory are tallied by connecting the control unit to a computer. EVMs have multiple security measures like tamper detection, unique IDs and strict handling protocols to prevent tampering or rigging. No voter can take the VVPAT slip back home as it is later used to verify votes that's cast in randomly selected polling booths. So why did the election commission introduce VVPATs? Now the idea of VVPAT machine had first emerged in the year 2010 when the Election Commission of India held a meeting with all political parties to discuss how to make the EVM based polling process more transparent and honest. After a prototype was prepared, field trials were held in Ladakh, Tiruvananthapuram, Cherrapunji, East Delhi and Jaisalmer in the year 2011. Now after holding these trials and taking feedback from multiple political parties and other experts an election commission expert committee had approved the design in February 2013 The VV pad was used for the first time in all 21 polling stations of Nagaland in 2013 after which the election commission decided to introduce VV pads in a phased manner By 2017 there was a 100% adoption of VV pads While well, opposition parties have called for anything from 50 to 100% verification of these VVPAT slips, but the Supreme Court has time and again panned EVM criticism saying that efforts shouldn't be made to undermine the electoral process of India.